Mr. Sweekle, the European Court of Auditors has just published its first audit report on how the European Union responded to the financial crisis. What did you find in your audit? We looked in our report how European Commission and European Banking Authority reacted to the financial crisis. And in the nutshell, we can say that European banking supervision is taking shape. However, while the creation of European Bank Authority was a good step, we found shortcomings in the area of cross-border supervision and testing of the resilience of European banks. What is the issue with cross-border bank supervision in the EU? The European Bank Authority role in, supervi in supervisor colleges was limited. The direct supervision is still done by the competent authority and there is a lack of supervisory convergences because colleges of supervisors focusing mostly on the processes rather than on the risk of individual banking groups. Okay, so what went wrong with the stress tests in 2011? European Banking Authority lacks an authority to ensure supervisory convergence. For the 2011 stress test, it was asked to coordinate preparation, but it had neither staff, neither mandate to ensure the reliability of those stress tests. What do EU auditors recommend for a successful banking union and effective banking supervision? From the autumn of this year, European Central Bank will be responsible for a single supervisory mechanism for Euro area banks. European Bank Authority shall continue in its role in preparation of the technical standards and as a part of their regulatory reforms. But there is a close cooperation needed between the signal supervisory mechanism of the euro area, competent authority for the non-euro area banks under the overall umbrella of European Banking Authority.